everyone, Problem Solved is recording this week from the Lean Six Sigma and Data Science Conference 2022, taking place at the Hyatt Regency Perimeter in Atlanta. Listen all week as we post interviews with our enthusiastic attendees, speakers, and other conference participants. So I'm Paul Babin, and I work with Domatic. We're a warehouse automation company based here in Atlanta. I'm an industrial engineer, a member of IISE for a long time. Glad to be here at the conference. What caught your attention about this conference in particular? What made you want to come out this year? Yeah, well, well, three things. It's IISE, which is everything that the um, society puts on is always really top notch. I'm a certified Six Sigma Master Black Belt. So anything Six Sigma, I always try and take advantage of that. And it's, it's here in Atlanta, so it's close to home for me. But it's also bringing in the data science side to learn some new things. So kind of reinforce some of the things that I know already and, and hopefully learn a few new things while I'm here as well. Gotcha. Would you talk about some of the ways that you use this kind of information in your occupation? The topics that I'm presenting on Wednesday is on root cause analysis and the topic from the panel discussion we just finished was on change management. And both of those concepts apply at every company and many any company in any industry really. So there's a lot of good concepts that you can that you can transfer from one company one industry to the other was there a moment in your life when you knew this was kind of what you wanted to do this angle <laughs> i'm still trying to figure out okay. what, I, what it is i want to do no actually i started off as an electrical engineer and uh worked f- doing uh, product development of, of control boards and then i moved into manufacturing quality and my boss said hey if you want to be in manufacturing quality you need to take a few courses in statistics, design of experiments, industrial engineering topics, because he was an IE. And and then I ended up getting a master's degree in industrial engineering and then went on to get the PhD in industrial engineering. So it was really based on uh, based on that guidance that, that uh, Tommy Jamison was my boss at the time. He said, yeah, you should you should think about this. Gotcha. Yeah. Would you you said you're a longtime IISE member. Would yeah. you talk a little bit about just the benefits of that? Why, why you've continued to be a member? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, as an industrial engineer, you know, getting to talk with other people that have similar issues, the, the magazine, you know, the publications that come out are always a good eye opener to see how the tools are being applied. Um, and then also the different technical conferences um, that, you know, the opportunity to present papers, technical papers, and then sometimes, uh, you know, more just common re- as opposed to a technical presentation, just more trade presentations. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And then also the networking side to meet other people that are in the same profession. So I've made nice contacts at, at several of these events in the past. Industries all over the place. Yeah. Very varied. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. Thank you so Good. much. I appreciate your time. Yeah.